We've got a 1200 foot climb and the goal is to make it as easy as possible today. I'll tell you why. Well, we have an inversion today. At the start of the climb, at the bottom, trailhead, it was 35 degrees. I'm up here at the top, and we've got a whole different world. I could be in shorts and a t-shirt right now. It's so nice. Um, but like I mentioned, I had a 1200 foot climb, keeping it as easy as possible as aerobic as possible for you that have the cool impossible this would mean definitely keeping it under zone six but i'm trying to keep it zone three zone four at the very highest heart rate um, again to keep it aerobic and we're going to get into why in a minute last week i did a video on ultra marathon training and how sometimes flawed ultra training can make us slow especially if we're running mountains and trails a lot, that can, that can really make us kind of slow and we lose our speed, ultimately kind of creating a plateau for our long distance and how we need to maintain speed work and maybe you work on that off season. So if you haven't seen that, I'll, I'll link that at the end of this video. Be sure to check it out. But I wanna take it another step today and talk about strength for ultra running. And this applies to any type of strength training or any type of, endurance strength that you're wanting for your running is that when we're wanting to improve our climbing for ultra marathon racing and training, we need to improve our strength and our endurance separately early season in what we would consider the base training and then morph this into strength endurance training later as you get closer and closer and more specific to your race. So again, in base building, to improve your strength, you need to do that separately from your endurance training. And I'll use my run today for an example and what I did yesterday. Yesterday, I did 10 by 30 second hill repeats, building my watts to VO2 max by the end of each. So hard, but not over the top. Just, it felt comfortably hard, which is, that's that was appropriate. So I'm, I'm building strength by doing these 30 second efforts. This is pure strength training. Then, you can hear some coyotes. Sorry, I got distracted wildlife again. So then today I'm doing an endurance workout on this 1200 foot climb. And that's why I'm trying to keep it as easy as possible. So it remains aerobic and it remains endurance training. If I do it much harder, it becomes strength endurance training as one, not strength plus endurance. It's strength endurance as one. Whereas yesterday was strength, today is endurance. Those are strength and endurance too, okay? So this is no different than building your speed and what I mentioned in the, the, the um, video last week of how we need to continuously to improve our speed to improve our strength. And this is counter to a lot of, 
a lot of physiology is counterintuitive. So if you're finding yourself climbing your, your trails at home, your mountains at a race, and you find yourself having just one gear, meaning it's either a run or a walk. You, you can't run that in three or four different types of gears. You can't run it easy, you can't run it moderate, and you can't run it hard. It's just one effort, okay? I would consider that one gear. We wanna have three or four, okay? So to accomplish that, that's, that's efficiency and that's strength. And that's gonna give you many gears to work with when we go to our race, our ultra marathon race, when it's just full of hills, okay? So to improve your strength endurance, you must first improve your strength and your force and your power. And that's done with shorter intervals earlier in the season. I should say shorter hill intervals early in the season, 30 seconds, a minute, maybe up to two minutes tops during base building. So the idea then again is that you're building this raw strength and then applying it to your endurance later for improved strength endurance, which is important for your racing. But it's very, very hard to improve your overall strength and endurance ability without going back to the basics of building yourself a stronger structural muscle foundation with shorter intervals. And so, like I mentioned yesterday, short VO2 max 30 second intervals. Today is my endurance day. And I'm working on cadence and making it as easy as possible. What else this is doing is that yesterday I recruited a lot of muscle fiber. And so now I'm taking all that muscle fiber recruitment and applying it to an endurance day, which creates more efficiency. So on days like today, put the ego in the pocket, do it solo and focus on climbing as easy as possible with as high a cadence as possible for those muscle fibers, for that muscle memory. Think of it this way. You know in base building, it's appropriate to run long and easy during base building most of the time. And so why wouldn't we take this philosophy into our climbing and become more efficient, create more gears, and run our climbs as easy as possible early in the season, and then progress the intensity to improve your strength endurance later when it really matters. Again, it's no different than building speed. We've got to go back and do the shorter, harder stuff to build that foundation of strength and then apply it to our endurance later. So give it a try. Hope this helps. You know, a lot of, a lot of YouTubers out there will say, hey, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I really don't care. Um, I'm doing just fine doing this. I love doing this. But what I will maybe suggest is that if there is content on here that you think might help someone else, this is what it's all about. Pass it on, be that courier and pass on the message, help somebody else. It's a good feeling to help somebody else. All right, I'm down the hill. Peace out as always and headed to California next week. You're gonna come along. See you next time.